John, Stephen singled you out after the performance for a bit of praise on Saturday, which must be pleasing in itself. What was the most pleasing aspect of the performance for you? Um, I think just the energy and the the drive from the lads really. Uh, you know, we went behind twice to a top class team, um, but we never stopped trying to play the way we want to play and you know, I think we, we pressed them high, we were on the front foot a lot and you know, even though they had the ball we managed to, to keep them in their half um, for a lot of the game. Uh, you know, was, we always knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, but probably looking back on it it's one that we could have won. So, you know, it was a really pleasing performance and I think everybody played well. Tell us a little bit about the high press. What's it like to play in that setup and how effective is it? It's brilliant, yeah, because um, you know, you you wanna get after teams, uh, you know, you wanna you wanna play as much of the game in their half as you can. So if you can if you can stop them playing through you then you know, it makes it easier for us at the back too. Um, we're not just sitting in all the time, but obviously they're going to get through the press a few times. They're a top team, and they did that, so we had to kind of retreat. But you know, in the main, I think the the forward lads and you know the midfield they worked their socks off, and you know it was a it was a very good pressing performance in my opinion. How important is it now to follow that performance up with another a win against Lithuania, realistically? Yeah, it's very important. Uh, you know, obviously the expectation uh, is on us to win the game. Um, we're going to go on the training ground. You know, obviously have our meetings, put a plan in place to try and do that. And you know, we we want to keep this running going. We want to keep playing well, and you know, we want to win the game. You mentioned about coming from behind twice against Belgium. What does that say about the character of this team? Yeah, I think it says a lot. Um, you know, no heads really dropped. Everybody just kept going. Um, the fans played a huge part in that as well. Uh, you know, it didn't feel like we were playing a friendly game. Um, and Belgium are a top team, so you know we, we fought back. We penned them back um, for spells of the game, and there was some really top performances there. So it was, uh, you know, it was a big confidence booster for the group. Um, you know that that we went toe to toe with with a really good side. And just before I leave you. A word on Chidozi Albene, who's having an unbelievable couple of games, and he's spoken about the confidence he's getting from the manager. But seeing a guy like that coming in and playing so well and getting his goal on Saturday, does that give a lot of confidence to other players coming in? Yeah, definitely. Um, Chio's been a breath of fresh air uh, since he's come into the squad, um, both on and off the pitch. Um, I know Chio from, from our time at Brentford together. You know, I know what a special guy he is. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's a really humble, hard working guy. And, you know, he came in, got his chance and, you know, grabbed it with both hands, um, you know, and it just shows anybody who, who comes into the squad if, if you're willing to work hard and, you know, when, when you get your chance, uh, if you're willing to take it, then there's opportunities there. Um, and, you know, he's, he's really kicked on, um, you know, with this team and, you know, he's, uh, he's, proven, he's, he's proving to himself and to everybody, you know, how big a player he is for us.